My name is Casey from Advanced Test Equipment Rentals, and today we are going to go over the Solar 2654-2 Lightning Pulse Generator. The 2654-2 Lightning Pulse Generator is capable of simulating lightning pulses for waveforms 1 through 5A and levels 1 through 3 as per DO160 specifications. Included in your order of the Solar 2654-2 Lightning Pulse Generator is all the equipment and necessary accessories to couple lightning pulses with all three required injection methods. I'm going to do a verification on waveform 4 pin injection at level 3. In order to do this, I need a waveform 4 external network, 2654-2 controller, and the waveform 4 module, along with my oscilloscope and differential probe. Now that we have our Waveform 4 external network connected to the Waveform 4 module, it is time to select what module the controller unit is going to use. The way we do this is by rotating the scroll wheel until Waveform 4 is indicated on the screen and the orange light is lit to indicate this module is being used. Press the scroll key in. Next we select either single stroke or multiple stroke bursts. I'm going to use single stroke. Next you can either select how many times do you want it to repeat. One time or ten times. I'm going to use it just once. Next thing is indicate is pulse to test. Now it's time to connect our differential probe to the output of the external network and turn it on. Right now I'm going to do a verification of waveform 4 pin injection at level 3. In order to accomplish this I will need to increase my amplitude on my controller unit until I read a signal that is 300 volts peak in accordance with the calibration documentation you will be receiving. Okay. Now I'm increasing my amplitude until I read a signal that is 300 volts peak on my oscilloscope. Right now my voltage indicator is reading approximately 312 volts. I press pulse and right now I'm reading approximately 260 volts. I will need to increase my amplitude some more. Now I'm at approximately 361 volts on my indicator, 362. Press pulse and there we go, reading 300 volts peak. Now that concludes our waveform for pin injection testing at level 3. We read a signal that's 300 volts peak. Moving on from waveform 4 pin injection, we are moving to waveform 4 ground injection. We need to swap our external network for pin injection to the ground injection external network. I'm going to need my setup. I turned it on, now I need to set up my modules, scroll to waveform 4, I'm going to select multiple stroke with uniform spacing and repeating one time. I need to, I'm going to be looking for a 150 volts peak signal on my oscilloscope. I'm adjusting my amplitude. Okay. Now I'm pressing pulse. Right now I'm only reading 88 volts peak, so I need to increase my amplitude. Now we have reached our target voltage of 150 volts peak and this concludes our verification of waveform 4 ground injection at level 3.
in accordance with the calibration documentation you will receive with your order.